The number one thing I hear all the time when people trying to get into fighting games, they be like, why well, I gotta learn this frame data? Who actually care about combo? Well, I think Capcom just solved this for everybody. Y'all gonna be excited about this one, bro. Street Fighter 6 is changing how ranked is done in fighting games. I mean, at least right now for Street Fighter 6. Capcom came out and stated that in an effort to improve the rank match experience, League points will be separated by individual characters. We hope this makes you feel more inspired to try a new character. What the hell is this? You don't clean your room? Now this is good for a couple of reasons. Number one, it will stop people from wanting to make multiple accounts for ranking. I remember when I was playing Street Fighter 5 last year, I'm trying to learn Akira, but I ended up fighting this crack Kage. Like he been playing the game since he dropped in the game, period. Me, I like throwing hands with anybody, but let's be real. If I hop in new, I want to fight somebody around my skill level, not a Brian F in disguise. This is also good for those players who usually will have a higher chance of getting pissed off that matchmaking seems very unfair and discouraging for newcomers. I mean, if you're 100% excited about these, you know, these changes, bro, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It is free and like the video because this is bigger than you may think and for your fighter game experience. Number two, it will encourage everyone to try multiple characters on the roster, like Capcom is aiming for. Have you ever fought someone, you get cooked, and you're like, alright, now I gotta switch my character. Hopefully we'll see a lot more character diversity in Street Fighter 6 on rank, compared to not how my experience was with Street Fighter 5, with Brazilian Ken and Ryu, a random lore, and the one fault player ever online. I mean, if you're just good, you're good, but I want to say this. I mean, if you're good, you're good, but I just want to say one thing before people go into Street Fighter 6 rank. Hierarchical thinking is not good. Sometimes you lose to a player in a higher rank or same rank as you, and then you get pissed off and start thinking and getting frustrated at the results of your games. At the end of the day, just play your game. You don't got to get too deep in your own head. It's why I personally dislike Guilty Gear Strive's tower system, and they need to never do that again. Some people are even asking to be able to turn off the ranks of themselves and the opponent off. Now, I am in the boat that ranked is ranked. You should be prepared for what you're going up against. But you got to realize a lot of other people may not even want to touch rank because they feel like everybody is sweaty and they're scared they're going to see something crazy and then never play ranked again. And 9 times out of 10, if you're a casual player, unless you actually like just playing the game like that, if you ain't got no homies to play and you're scared to get on ranked, why would you even play the game at that point? Meaning that just hurts retention of the community and player base online and the numbers overall. Personally, I'm okay with the option to turn it on and off. I mean, it ain't gonna hurt nobody. More options are just more options. Everybody win at the end of the day and your fighting game or your game in general is more accessible. I love accessibility. Everybody needs to experience some of these cool games out here. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you're mad at that, I don't know. Now, the coolest thing about rank changes Street Fighter 6 is gonna be funny when I say this. You can get a diamond rank with random select in the game. Imagine playing in an online tournament. You see a question mark, but a big eye diamond logo under their name. I would be so terrified. I would be like, listen, you got it, chief. Like imagine walking up to somebody at Capcom Cup and be like, yeah, I mean random. <laughs> This is huge for fighting games. Rank systems is pretty modernized like other popular games I believe like Apex and maybe tied to Roll and Overwatch 2. I think Street Fighter 6 is doing a lot for fighting game genre and pushing Street Fighter all together. I 100% think other companies will attempt to incorporate a lot of things in Street Fighter 6 in their form from either single player content or online infrastructure. At the end of the day, everything get better, everything a win-win. This definitely is changing Street Fighter all together, even if you want to test your skills on ranked or you want to use ranked to practice, being competitive with other people. It is all a journey, my people. I know I'm not the best Street Fighter player, but being able to go through a journey with my character also helps provide more content and help me want to get better at the game. So from my perspective, this is fire. That being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video, comment down below if you guys are excited about Street Fighter 6 ranked. I know a lot of people are going to be playing ranked and every person is going to have their own special characters or trying out a lot of new things in Street Fighter 6. I don't even know who I want to main right now. Like my brain is telling me Chung Lee. That's the character I want to play in the most dumb little baby girl up there, you know. But there's so many characters up there. I'm thinking Lily, Manon, Gaio, Blanca. Like those are the characters I'm bouncing around right now. Also, tell me who you would like to main in Street Fighter 6. I'm interested. Tell me who you want to main and why. It's your boy Avatar Yaya. Make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at AvatarYaya underscore. Remember, you guys are golden, and that is raw. Squala, peace, and I'm out.
stronger.